Hi, this is Nisha, and this is something very unexpected. I think we all knew this was coming, but everything, both CZ USA and CZ over in the Czech Republic, was telling people was that these would not be available until 2019. They weren't at SHOT Show, at least in semi-auto form, in 2018 either. And then they just appeared on Prepper's Gun Shop and a couple of other places. This is the Czech made CZ Bryn 2S pistol. And this is the 556 NATO 223 Remington version. They also offer this in 76239. And this is the shortest barrel. This is the 8 inch or 8.1, some sources claim. They also have an 11 and a 14. And that goes for both calibers. And I believe they're going to be doing flat dark earth as well as the black. This is, I guess, what we're calling a soft release. CZ is really not saying much about them. There's a few stories why, but this is kind of a small initial or pre-production import batch. And they only went to one distributor, Bill Hicks. And mostly it seems like they're going to preppers. They have a good relationship with uh, Bill Hicks and CZ. And that's where I picked mine up, as did other people like Tim at Military Arms Channel. We're just buying them like anyone because they're just not really available on mass yet. They will become available in 2019, although in slightly different form. They're making a few changes to make them a little more appealing to the American market. But this is pretty much exactly what CZ's been shipping to the Czech Army for the last two years. On the table, too, we have my original CZ 805 S1 Bryn Carbine, a gun that's been in many videos and we've shot a lot. I've done what I could to make this into a Czech military gun. I've added the original Czech flash hider. It has a 16 inch barrel instead of 14 bayonet lugs here. We have the military style iron sights. We have the Magwell for the check mags, which are kind of rock and lock versus the AR. But this will take AR mags with the original Magwell. This is the original pistol grip. We'll do a more detailed comparison, and also we have a range comparison. This is just kind of a short intro video. But this was the original. As you see here. Great gun. Really a great gun. But also a little heavy. This weighs about a little under eight pounds, about 7.8, give or take, without anything on it and with the scope and, and um, accoutrements on it, it's about 8.2. This gun here, with pretty much nothing on it and with the short barrel, is about 6.7 to 6.8 pounds. So we're about a pound lighter. Some sources say about 1.2 pounds, but it seems more like a pound lighter. So we're already saving a lot. Really how they saved most of the weight was in the front. They shortened the whole forend about three inches. Not only did this allow them to go to an eight inch barrel, whereas before 11 was about as short as they could do. It also meant a shorter handguard, so less weight, shorter gas system, less weight, and even a shorter bolt carrier inside. They also reworked the lower a little bit. This is now a single piece lower as opposed to two pieces in the Bryn 1. It doesn't have quite as much metal in it, a little more polymer, so it's a teensy hair lighter. It takes standard AR-15 mags. And while it does have a magwell insert, this magwell isn't modular, so you can't use the original Bryn mags. I think the insert's there so they can use the same lower for the 76239 version. They have redone the pistol grip. They've checkered it. It still has removable back straps, has storage compartment inside. We have a nice trigger. For more on that, you can see our upcoming video where we do a range comparison. But it is polymer instead of metal. We have an ambi safety still. But it doesn't quite stick out as far. And it's also polymer, whereas originally it was metal. 
One other small thing I've noticed on the original, you could not charge the action with the safety on. On this gun, you now can. See? Still very smooth bolt. This is a non-reciprocating charging handle, but it's easily switched from either side. And it can even be locked to the carrier to be used as a forward assist, which is nice. It's a little larger, it's a lot wider than the post. It's made of polymer. So it's a much more ergonomic charging handle. It kind of locks to the front. Very uh, ACR style in my opinion. Of course, one of the biggest things that people were happy about with the brand two is the bolt system. Last round hold open. The original had this. But there's no release. Nothing uh, to release it with. This to me was never a big deal because usually you'd be doing mag swaps and if you put in a fresh mag, all you have to do is, and it goes forward. Notice this reciprocates too. But this bugged quite a few people. CZ listened. And with this gun, if you want to release the bolt, you have this here. This can also be used as a manual hold open. There. And it has a second release on the left, more AR style. So they definitely listened to the whole bolt release. They gave you not one, but two. <laughs> Ambidextrous mag release on this, as on the original. So that's pretty well unchanged. The pistol has a long top rail, no side rails, but these are panels. It comes with military style iron sights. Let's look at those. Flip adjustable peep in the rear. It also has luminescent paint for night use. Front is an adjustable post. The gas system has three positions. Standard, adverse, as in when it's dirty or maybe really cold weather. And then a third position now for suppressor use. Whereas the original Brin just had two positions in the gas regulator and a much smaller majigger here. Basically just standard and adverse. These disassemble quite similarly with two push pins. The original had HK style with little spring clips. This is more AR style push pins, which are captive, so you can't push them out too far. I'm not gonna disassemble it fully here, but you get the idea. Also, the original Bryn, the bolt carrier group could not be completely disassembled without a tool. This now is like an AR. About the only tool you need to disassemble the bolt group is a bullet tip or something else kind of small. Again, they were listening to people. And finally, the original Bryn pistol came with an end cap and you could buy separately a arm brace or stock if you're going SBR adapter. Now the new 2S comes with the threaded end piece already and you can even purchase it from preppers with this SBA3 tactical adjustable arm brace already installed. Finally we have standard sling swivel slots, a small one in the front for kind of a clip and a larger one in the rear and then we also have a pocket for a QD sling swivel. This upper is still all one piece of aluminum alloy or some similar material. The lower is, more, like I said, one piece of polymer. Kind of made it interesting for me. People always describe these as having a polymer receiver. So I was thinking before holding one, you know, like a G36 or a Beretta ARX, 
But no, this is still a metal receiver. It just has a polymer lower trigger and magwa housing. And of course the stock, if you had a stock on here, would be... Uh, so that really helps with the weight savings. It's kind of unexpected. The Czech military has been receiving these since mid to late 2016. I know their first order was for about 2600 but I'm sure they're getting more over the years. So I'm sure they have several thousand in service. The Bryn 2A1 carbine has a 14 inch barrel with this three prong flash header. It's open, kind of twisty. It also has a bayonet lug. The Bryn 2A2 carbine has an 11 inch barrel and no bayonet lug. And then this is the subcompact or compact assault rifle with the 8 inch barrel. Now these barrels are removable much like on a SCAR or the original Bryn. So if you want to switch barrels or even calibers, they do make these caliber convertible. Right now we've got 7.6239 and 5.56, but you know, the future might hold other things. Well that's just kind of a brief intro look. We will have a lot more going on with the Bryn 2 because it's cool and exciting and really just kind of came out of nowhere. So check back. If you have any questions, we'll do our best to answer them. Keep in mind we're new to this as well, so we're learning every day, but we'll do our best to share what we've learned so far. We have taken this to the range and it has cycled 100% during test firing with both brass and steel case. No issues there. It seems like pretty much all the AR mags we've tried fit. It comes with two metal mags and a very complete cleaning kit and a cardboard box and manual. So that's what you get. So check this out. And if you'd like to know more on the history, check out the playlist. We have a Bryn playlist as well. As always, we appreciate you tuning in. If you'd like to help support the channel, please also check out the link to our Patreon page. This is Misha. And we will catch you very soon next time.